when you teach a lot of math classes, you have a lot of math students. And when you do it for many years, you see all kinds of students. You see students who do really well, and you see students who don't do so well. You see students who learn mathematics quickly. You see students who struggle to learn mathematics. But what are the best math students? What makes a good student? Well, obviously, certain things like studying, doing your homework, you know, taking tests and doing well, all of those things make a good student. But what are the best math students? So I wanted to make this video because I feel like most people would think the best math students are the students that get the best grades. And I don't think that's true. I think it's more than just grades. For me, just looking back and thinking about all the students I've had, there's a combination of both. If I take the top 10 students that I've had in my years of teaching experience, in that group, you're gonna get students who did really well and scored hundreds, and you're also gonna get some students who got Bs and Cs and struggled. And I think it's because for me, the best math students are the ones that can rise from the ashes like a phoenix and conquer their weaknesses. There are a lot of people out there, and maybe you're one of these people, who it takes them extra time to learn math. It does, it does take some people more effort. I mean, some people can learn math a lot easier than other people. I feel like most people are average. There's a few people who are above average, and then there's a few people who are below average. And there's some people that really, really struggle. It's those people, oftentimes, that I think I look up to, because those people have to work extra hard to get the same results that maybe someone who picks up the math quickly doesn't have to do. And I think that's admirable. I think that's something that human beings look up to. There's this old movie uh, I think it's from like the 80s or the 90s. It's called Rudy. It's about a football player, well, a, a guy who wants to be a football player. He wants to play football for Notre Dame. And he's really small. And he's always like, put me in, coach, put me in, coach. And the other players are always knocking him around. He's got a bloody nose. He's always getting beaten down by these big dudes. And he's really, really small. And he just keeps coming back in there and getting knocked down. And when he gets knocked down, he gets up again and he keeps pushing, keeps trying. He never gives up. To me, those students who never give up, those students who face adversity with like an unbreakable will, those are the best students in my opinion. Those, those are the best students. And looking back again, if I, if I pick the top 10 students I've had, what they all have in common is that desire to learn and that work ethic. I think that is more important than anything. So if you're watching this video and you feel like you're a person who struggles to learn math, just know you're not alone. There's a lot of people out there that are very, very slow when it comes to learning math, but they can persevere. I have seen people who, I mean, it takes them forever, forever to do a very, very basic math problem. I can show them the same problem five times and I can have them do it and they still won't be able to do it. Then I'll have to show them five more times, like five more examples, and then they can finally do it. So it'll take like 10 examples just to get the point across. Now, this is a very, very small percentage of the population, right? But these people, I've had students like this that can, that can just rise above and learn. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is, for me, the best students are the ones that work hard. So yeah, keep working hard, keep doing mathematics.